Hey, what's up everybody? Fuller here and in today's video we are going to talk about the um, uh, how to use event dispatchers to communicate to the meta sounds. Uh, event dispatchers can get a little bit confusing so I'm going to simplify it in this video and we're going to do a really uh, short uh, exercise uh, that will show you how to use uh, binding and calling event dispatchers so that you can communicate from blueprint to blueprint across Blue, different blueprints and different meta, meta sounds to access the uh, full spectrum of parameters for each of the meta sounds. Now this is a simple video, but you'll see how uh, based off this concept you can build more and more and more complex systems. So let's dive in. Okay, so here's our really simple world. We have a meta sound in here and we have a cube. And so when we, when our player walks over the cube, you'll hear the meta sound go up in pitch. Okay, so let's um, uh, talk about this. So what we need here is just some three basic elements. We need a blueprint for the cube box, we need a meta sound, and we need a blueprint for that meta sound. Okay, so we're gonna start from scratch here. Uh, we've got an empty level here with just a floor, and we're gonna go in here, we're going to create a new meta sound. We're gonna create our meta sound first, call this meta sound music we're going to double click on this real quick if you don't know about meta sounds you can check out my video but we're going to add a wave player i've got a meta sounds a, a five series video on the basics of meta sounds so check that out i'm going to hook up play i'm going to set the output and we're going to uh, select the starter music that works and then we're going to drag off this pitch shift parameter we're going to promote that to a graph uh, variable and we're gonna give that the range of 0 to 5 so now when we manipulate this that manipulates the pitch now that's all we need for the meta sound um, so because we're gonna keep it real simple so let's close this out now what we need to do is we need to make a blueprint for that meta sound so we can pull it into the world and we can get that event that we're gonna send from the box um, so we're gonna right click here we're gonna uh, create a new blueprint class actor we're gonna call this BP meta sound and you call it whatever you want, but that's what we're gonna call it. Inside this meta sound, we're gonna add an audio component, and we are going to select our meta sound that we made earlier with that music on it, and we're gonna save that. And for now, we're gonna just pull this into the blueprint. When we hit play, that meta sound starts automatically because this uh, audio is set to auto activate and that's fine we'll leave that for now because we just want it to start playing right when it pulls in now what we need to do is we need to create a box so we're gonna create new blueprint class actor we're gonna call this BP BP box inside this box we're gonna double click on this we'll move this up here we are going to add a cube so we can see it there it is and let's just color this. Uh, where's that metal? I found this cool. Let's go medieval on this. We're gonna color it with this medieval iron door because that is super cool. And let's pull this into the world here as well. So now we've got our cube. It has no logic in it, but we're gonna fix that in a minute. So let's go back here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add a collision sphere. If I can spell box collision there we go um, and then let's size this up to three times the scale and that puts us right about there actually let's go two. let's go two times the scale that puts out just right outside the box um, long enough to walk over so now that we've got the box there you see the collision cube now we want to assign uh, the event dispatcher to the cube and here's where the cool fun part comes in so what we want to do is when we overlap this cube, we're going to get rid of these. When we overlap, when our player overlaps this cube, we want to send an event. And that's called calling. I don't know why they call it calling. It's like calling someone, I guess. But like calling an event, otherwise transmitting. I like to refer, think of it as transmitting event. So when we overlap this cube, it's going to transmit uh, this event dispatcher. And then we're going to blueprint the meta sound to listen for that and then do something. So we're going to come down here. We're in our cube. We're going to go to the event graph 
we're going to click on new event dispatcher and we're going to call this meta sound pitch up let's just call this meta sound pitch up for now and then over here uh when we click on the details we're going to create a new um float parameter and we're just going to call that uh pitch value i guess it doesn't really matter what you call it um but we'll call it pitch value uh, okay there we go now when we drag this event dispatcher over here and we select call there it is now it's in our world so what we want to do is we want to click on this collision box we want to go down here and we're going to go to on component begin overlap so here's our logic so when we overlap this cube it is going to call this meta sound pitch up and it's going to send whatever value we put in here and let's just put up four so it's going to send four so when we plug that into the meta sound it's going to pitch it up four because this is a float so we're going to um event begin overlap call meta sound pitch up and then the other thing we want to do is when we leave it when we end the overlap we are going to call the meta sound pitch up but we are going oops uh, hold on, let me get rid of that, connect that to here. When we end the overlap, we're going to pitch it back down to zero. Now it does say pitch up, so it's a little confusing, but we're pitching it up back to zero. So now this is what it's going to do. So now when we go on this box, and let's just do a little print string pitched up, and then we'll do a print string here pitched down. And this will allow us to just make sure our logic is working. It's not going to do anything to the sound yet, so but we will see it up here on the left. There it is, pitched up, pitched down, pitched up, pitched down. So we know our overlap is working. Now let's go. Uh, we're, so we're done with the box. So now we are sending, we are transmitting that event dispatcher. Now what we want to do is, wanna, and this is the important part, we want to go over to the meta sound. And we want to go into its blueprint and we want to listen for that event. So what we're going to do is we want this to constantly listen for that event. So how we're going to communicate to that. So that's called BP box. That's the name of our actor. So we're going to go in here. We're going to um, right click. We're, we're now we're in our blueprint of our meta sound. OK, so we are in our meta sound blueprint. We're going to right click. We're going to go get actor of class. And what class? Uh, the box that we just called. There it is, BP box. That should show up in that list. Um, okay, and then, so now what we're saying is, hey, on every tick of this game, um, find this box. And what do we want to do? We want to listen for the event that's being dispatched. And that's called binding. So what we want to do is we want to bind that event. We want to hear, we want to receive that event call, that event dispatch. And then we want to bind it to an action. So we're going to come over here and we're going to hit uh, bind. And then you should see, uh, here it is. So under default, bind event to meta sound pitch up. So once we've compiled that other one, it will show up in this context sensitive box. And then, um, so now we want to bind this uh, from here. That's our target. Now, now this will receive it. Now it's going to do it on every tick, but it's only going to receive it when our character walks over that box because that's when it's going to send it. That other blueprint's going to send it. Now what we want to do, the final step is we're going to come down here to this delegate and we want to create a custom event and we're going to call this whatever, pitch up meta sound. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull in our meta sound reference and we're going to set float, oops, we're going to set float parameter and we are going to set it to the float of the pitch that's being sent. Now remember, the float is coming from here. It's coming four and then it's going back to zero. So that's where the, the float's coming from. We want to make sure we connect that. And then where do we want to do it? Just like any meta sound, we want to make sure that it's this. Uh, it's called pitch shift. Actually, let's rename this to just pitch make it simple so that's our input there pitch so we're gonna go to here and we're gonna call this in name pitch now in theory this should all work fingers crossed here we go uh, let's see here here we go so we're gonna hit play 
There it is, bingo. When we walk in, sends the event, pitches it up four. When we end the overlap, sends the event, binds the event, pitches it back down to zero. Very cool stuff. Okay, so, and then just for fun, let's spawn a little emitter. Spawn emitter at location. We'll go uh, get player character. We'll get our location. Uh, get location, get after location, and then that's where we'll spawn it at. And let's make it big. Let's go, let's scale it up to three. And let's go explosion. Boom. So now when we hit this box, it'll pitch it up and it make an awesome explosion. Wow. Nice. That's awesome. Cool. All right. So that that's it. Real simple to do. Um, just takes a little bit of figuring out how to communicate with each of the blueprints. And even though this is very simple, you can imagine uh, the complexity of what you can do with this. This is actually how I'm uh, building my uh, steampunk monosynth that's coming out soon. I'm also working on an FM synthesizer as well. And, and, and the complex fader system that I'm, I'm building uh, involves a lot of uh, blueprint uh, event dispatching and stuff so that we can use all sorts of faders and triggers and knobs to communicate to one or two meta sounds. So anyways, hope this video was helpful. More on the way. Please uh, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube, YouTube algorithms and it allows me to just continue to pump out content. So anyways, have a great week and we'll see you soon in the next video.